Welcome everyone, here is how you use the S Pen Fold Edition. First of all, you must have a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 or any newer model, okay? So the Z Fold 2 and older do not support the S Pen Fold Edition. Next, if you are using the S Pen Fold Edition and you're using it on the cover screen, uh, this does not work, okay? You can only use the S Pen Fold Edition with the inner screen, so just keep that one in mind. So in order to access the S Pen menu, you either need to do a swipe or just bring the S Pen near to the screen where you see this little white dot and then you will see the S Pen icon show up. This icon cannot be tapped on with your finger, instead you do need to tap on it with the S Pen itself and now we are brought to this menu with all these options. If you tap on the add button here, you can actually change the options available. So you tap on the minus to remove the option tap on the option to turn it on, okay? If you see here, all apps, you can also tap to add apps as well. So let's go back. And uh, did you know that you don't actually need to tap on this little icon here to access the menu? The alternative way is you bring the S Pen Fold Edition near the screen of the Z Fold 4, and you see where this button is, just double click the button, so click, click, and this menu will show up here. I'll deep dive into the settings for S Pen, so make sure you keep watching for the full thing. But for now, let's go through what all these options here do. So let's start off with Create Note. When you tap into this one, it will open up the Notes app in a pop-out view. From here, you can annotate notes. Palm rejection is also a feature with the S Pen, so you can place your palm on the screen and not worry about any issues showing up. If you tap on the blue bar here, you have all these options. And another feature of the S Pen Fold Edition is well, actually, if you hover over near to the option, it'll actually show you what it is. So you can see the X is Close App, and already know what this stuff is, but let's say you forgot. So you have Close App, you have Full Screen, Minimize, Opacity, and then bring the app into Split Screen View. This option here just changes the blue bar into Buttons, so it's not really necessary. If you do really want to know what everything does, I do have a split screen tutorial for Z Fold 4 in the description, which goes into greater detail. Did you know there is an alternative method to open up the Notes app? So you're gonna get the S Pen Fold Edition. While holding down the actual button itself, you're gonna do click, click on the screen. So I'll try that one more time. And there you go, the Notes app will open up. And then from here, of course, you can do your notes taking. Let's open up this menu again. Let's go into the Smart Select option. So when you're here, essentially, this is like taking a screenshot, but only a partial screenshot. So you just slide from where you want the screenshot to be. And once it's done, you can annotate. You can uh, remove the background. Let's say you have a person. You use this feature to remove the background. You have the Share, and then you have the Save button right here. Then we have the screen write. So it will take a screenshot and then it will allow you to write on the screen. If you tap on the pen, you can change the pen options. You have the eraser tool, you have the back, redo, share and save. Now we have here live messages. So let's go to the camera. So you can take a picture or video and then you can annotate the picture or add text to the video while it is playing as well. Now I'm gonna go into a browser and I'm gonna show you Bixby Vision. So in Bixby Vision, if you just hover over, let's say a face here, you can see you have this little rectangle and just select it. So from here you can shop. Of course it's gonna go away. Let's try that again. So wait, you have the shop option, image search, and you can also gets the text, okay? So you can see it will show all of the text which is available and it will also allow you to translate the text as well. Let's just close out this one, tap on the pen, you have the translate tool. So what the translate tool does is you find text, you just hover over that text and then it will translate it for you, okay? And you can choose what it will translate from and to. If you tap on this here, it will translate a whole list okay or paragraph so that would be best shown if i go to the notification sensor and press on the sentence and you can see it will just translate the whole paragraph right there 
now you see here the magnify tool so you just hover over with the S Pen and we'll just magnify like so tap on the option here you can change you can also increase the size of the magnify tool as well then we have the glance tool here so let's open up an app let's try that again so when you have the glance tool it will just have the app you know the bottom right and when you hover your S Pen over you can glance at the app okay now in order to remove the glance you will need to close out the application from multitasking now we have here the view all notes button so this will just well view all the notes in a notes application let's tap on add so i'm going to remove some options here so i can cover these final four so you see pen up this is an app and what it does is you can find all of these you know these backgrounds here okay and you can kind of just color on top of them so you can use background to just annotate maybe make a nice car I guess you could say then we have here the doodle this is AR doodle so needs to set up the AR you can just highlight over here add stuff okay with AR all right so I'm coloring this phone you can then record all right stop the recording and then you have this AR video right there we then have the coloring tool which brings you to the same app as pen up and you have write on calendar which is literally writing on the calendar all right now let's go to settings here so you have air actions air actions is only available if you have the s pen pro edition remember how the s pen fold doesn't have a battery uh, what that means is you can't do air actions okay accidentally open up multitasking but air actions are where you'd hold down the power button and you slide from left to right, up, down, uh, maybe double click from far away, etc. But again, the Ford Edition doesn't have those features. Screen off memo. So if this is on, and what you do is when the lock, when you go to lock screen, you press and hold the S Pen near the screen, double tap, and you can see you can actually write even when you're on the lock screen. It's cool and all, but you can't do it here, okay? Because if I try it here. See, it's not going to work. So I know if that is cool because, again, when you open up the phone, it just goes to the lock screen. I think that's an oversight by Samsung. But, uh, yes, yeah, it's, you know, it's just a thing. Let's go back to settings. You have quick create notes. So I already covered that. You just long press and then double tap to open up the notes app right away. S Pen to text. So when this feature is on, you can see if I go to any search bar and I use the S Pen can see it will convert into text just like that and then we have here the air view so you see this little cursor here when I'm near to the screen to zoom in there you go when air view is on you can see you have to preview text images and web pages by just hovering over so it's kind of like if you have your mouse and you hover over something okay so I do recommend you keep that one on show pointer when hovering so if this is off you don't see that little you know that little dot or circle then you have the menu style so this is the menu here and you can change the menu style to compact so if you know what all of this stuff is already which hopefully you do by watching this video then you can change that to the compact or you can just have standard if you would like and you have the shortcuts here so this is useful because you can see how the add option but sometimes the add, well, the add option won't show up if this view is full you can see there's no option to add so you can add shortcuts by just tapping on the shortcuts button here minus okay and play around with that show air command icon that's this icon here open air command with pen icon okay so you can see when you hover the s pen over the screen and then press the pen button already covered that earlier on in the video and if you want sounds while you're writing on the screen you can also have this option on as well so the s pen is quite simple and that covers everything with that being said thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye